Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Guile here. Welcome back to the Forge Delights Forever promotional series. I've got some tip-top level pro ladder action coming your way this afternoon, chaps. I know you're excited about that. First of all though, for the benefit of my newer subscribers, not for you guys who've been around here for ages, you're probably already playing on FAF, but it has been an age since I've done it. I know you won't mind me giving my little salesman pitch, my little spiel. Guys, newer subs, if you like what you're looking at, but you're not 100% sure what it is you're looking at, the game is Supreme Commander Forge Delights. Alliance, not Supreme Commander 2. And you can find it on Steam. It's available for download for £10 or 15 US dollars. And in order to play online, all you have to do once you have that game installed, and it doesn't matter if you have a retail copy with a disc or the digital download edition on Steam, all you need to do is download the Forged Alliance Forever multiplayer client. And you can find a link to that in the description below all of my videos, including this one. And uh, what will that allow you to do? It'll allow you to play online with us, come chat in the chat channels, flame people on the forums which is always fun you can check out all of the oodles amount of entertainment hours of entertainment in the replay vault all the content in the maps vault the mods vault all laid on for you guys free of charge and of course galactic war still in development as well it's incredibly exciting by far and away the most impressive user or community driven multiplayer client i have ever seen and i think most people who play on faf would probably say the same Anyway, that's my spiel done. I hope you feel informed. Today's ma match, as I was going to say, is going to be a ladder match. And it's going to take place on Canis River. So let's go on over to the game zone and see how these guys are going to get on. It feels like a freaking age since we had an original Canis River, a 1v1. And it's extra special because lookity, lookity, up in the blue corner, he has returned. Our favorite daddy Gibraltar tags rock. There he is in all his splendor going his customary Cybrin opening first land. And hopefully this heralds the return, the mass return of all of the other tags. Lord knows we could do with more high level players kicking out decent replays. Certainly I could uh, for the casting purposes. And uh, his opponent down at the bottom, he might even be persuaded to replace the tags or the tag tags at the front of his name. It's chosen formerly tag chosen of course he's going Aeon in Ferrari Red opening first land and second land as well so we can speed it up the first couple of uh, build cycles not too interesting what we got coming off the conveyor belt though first for chosen so he's going a little bit aggressive We've got an Aurora and a spirit see if we can see where he's headed with that straight up here to the top left going to be looking for that engineer going for all that reclaim in the riverbed you can see it's a statistically probable early trajectory for an engineer and chosen's well aware with that what have we got on this side well rock looking a little bit more defensive he spits out a mole to get a little bit of intel but otherwise working mainly on engineers initially and then switches up to a mantis is that on protection detail or is that on offense it looks like it's on offense coming straight the way down here chosen will be hoping that his aurora doesn't get discovered but there's a mole on the way as well what can rock see he can see everything so rock well aware of the impending threat cycles left takes out the spirit for moving on to the aurora nice little bit of micro there from chosen i'm trying to work out how long rock's been gone and whether or not he's used to the new mobility that's present these days on the auroras since the changes he may well have uh, seen them just before he left certainly that uh, worked out well for chosen who heads towards the back of rock's base with a very heavily damaged aurora indeed just 12 hit points left on that puppy rock not going to take any chances dispatching another mantis out that way to make sure he doesn't get any kind of traction in around the back of his base chosen literally heading as far as he possibly can away from things Rock can see everything though. Look, there we go. Mole going to camp out and block him in. I'll see if uh, Chosen can do anything else with that later on in the game. Meanwhile, Mantis heading south with its uh, accompanying Mole. Going to uh, potentially bump into an Aurora. No, just going to miss it by a hair's breadth. And Chosen not going to redirect, so he can't possibly have caught sight of it otherwise surely he'd be going after it in order to protect this engineer but unfortunately that's the last hot meal that engineer is ever going to see there he goes and potentially we be about to lose two mexes here as well in comes the aurora to assist one mantis does take a hell of a long time to chew through 600 hit points it has to be said there it goes dropping down to 200 and the aurora having some problems with a hill 
blocking every single one of his shots. Now gets into range, able to put some fire on the Mantis, but he is able to bag at least one of the Mexes. Not able to micro his way out of trouble there, though, and gets kaplunked just before he can start putting some real pressure on that second Mex. Couple of roving, uh, roaming threats up here at the top right for Rock. Another Aurora and a Spirit. These little groups all around of uh, scouts and uh, moles or Auroras, just kind of searching for engineers in bands of two at the moment. Have got Bomber out on the map though for Rock, so he's starting to get involved in the air game and goes for a couple of spirits and misses both of them. Nice little bit of micro there from Chosen. Looking like he was going to go after that engineer for a moment, but couldn't get the uh, run up lined up correctly. Uh, looks like Rock might have lost a uh, an engineer around here somewhere. So he's been holding back that one, not wanting to send it in. Oh, but that would have been juicy. Two engineers clumped right at the back of Chosen's base. Rock's bomber sails overhead, unable to get the bomb away. Surely it's still alive off map somewhere, unless it got shot down out of range. I think it must have done unreal. No, there it is. That is the longest turning arc I've ever seen. But it is coming back in for another pass. There is the odd thistle kicking around. Manages to pick off the engineer that was halfway through constructing a seeker there, T1 anti-air turret for Aeon. So he's going to be able to stall production on that. Doesn't get anything else done as he gets shot down on his exit from the base though. Another engineer down there for Chosen. Nice work from Rock keeping up pressure with the bombing run. Chosen up front on an upgrade on his comm. What have we got uh, with Rock? Nothing on that comm so far. He's uh, thrown a gun on there. No, he hasn't. So Chosen looking to make his ACU more of a nuisance at this stage in the game. But uh, currently Rock far ahead on uh, 21 mass to 12. I've got to say I'm a little bit surprised. I know Rock's had a few games. This wasn't his first game back. Came back uh, yesterday, I think, or the day before, something like that. So he's had a couple of a couple of practice games. He had a few versus Chosen. But uh, certainly Chosen has had the more consistent game time over the last few months. Hasn't taken uh, any kind of massive break that I'm aware of. Certainly Rock was heralded with uh, lots of smiling faces or the equivalent in text in chat the other day when he returned. Illustrates just how long he's been gone. And now the two ACUs verging on one another in the center of the map. Proximity closing. Rock not looking like he wants to push his luck though. Heading back towards the river. Chosen continuing to pursue. And he's got the range upgrade I think on his comm there. There we go. Look at that. So he's going sniper comm. Basically doubling its range there. Going to be able to continue to harass Rock right the way back to his base should he so choose. But got to be a little bit concerned with what's going on over here. Rock's got a nasty group of Mantis and the odd Medusa in there as well. And there's nothing being dispatched over that way by Chosen, who's pushing all the way up north. But the intel wise, they're only just coming back on his scope now. How will he react, I wonder? Quite happy to continue to press. And Rock down to the yellow, in fact. So I can kind of understand why he's continuing. Four and a half K hit points left on that Cyber and ACU. Aurora's pressing in. Unfortunately, no furthers present in there, so not going to be able to cause too much damage to this base. Rock does have his T2 Land Factory HQ, though, in play, and that's right up front, the most far forward factory of all. Chosen able to stay at a safe range, and Rock does not want to lose this. This will really set him back. Yes, he's still ahead on Eco, but to lose his T2 HQ would be a colossal blow. And uh, he was well ahead of Chosen in the tech game as well. He's just 35% done on his T2 HQ. Holding steady for the moment. 
But then Chosen begins to fire again. And Rock with no way to defend this at the moment. Looks like he's producing a T2 Engineer. I think I know what he's trying to do. He will want to get some T2 PD in play to shoo away Chosen's ACU. But I think that's going to be too late for the HQ. Drops below 2,000 hit points and into the red. There goes the construction of the Cerberus turret at the back. We're going to have a look at the range on that. You can see that just keeps the uh, ACU in range, but down to below 1,000 hit points now. Chosen going to be successful in knocking out that headquarters. That is quite the blow to Rock's game. There it goes. Nicely played, Chosen. You see what a difference that uh, ACU gun upgrade can make. It's one of the things that makes Aeon upgrades and Aeon ACUs as versatile as they are. But in that last engagement, Chosen did lose his hydrocarbon. And you can see that's what that's doing is to his eco bottlenecking, not just on mass, but on power as well. Managing to sort it out. And so that last little attack by Rock just keeping him in this now chosen brushing aside rocks tech advantage only to lose significant amounts of power and therefore stall his eco chosen does have the hq in play however now he's starting to produce ascendance which is quite interesting receiving an air threat i'd say i see the same one at the moment just getting one or two on the board. And also working on some base defense as well. To his credit, he's caught Rock up. It is now 23 mass apiece. Chosen banked. 1,400. Coming up to 1,500 mass so far. Rock doubling that on 3,000. That's a lot of Cerberus turrets up front. Three in play there for Tag Rock. And you can see the sort of range he's going to have on that. Those Auroras aren't going to be able to get anything done. They could potentially threaten this engineer and these power generators. But as soon as they move inside that sphere, they're going to get cut to ribbons. Doing a little bit of shuffling there. Ultimately doesn't save those tanks and they have to back off. But Major Prakar boiling over down here in the east. That is a hardy amount of reducers, it has to be said. Anyone would think it was slow playing. A lot of talk about the Medusa at the moment about whether or not it's OP or not. EMP does make uh, a lot of difference in combat. Chosen's going to want to stay away from this pack of Mantis now, try and use that range advantage. But at the same time, doesn't want to get caught up behind the hillock. You see the Medusa shells coming in now. player wanting to commit but we do have a T2 HQ back in play now for rock hoplites in production and in terms of map control he's a little thin he needs to grab some of these mexes the chosen's ACU all the way up here he's for the moment at least secured this little plateau, throwing another upgrade on his com, probably going to be the second gun upgrade. Cheeky little run by from Chosen, getting in right amongst the 
rear units. Okay, bot trying to run them down. Rock losing yet more mexes. Drops his mass income to just nine. He's now operating in this tiny little bubble in the center of the map. But look at what Chosen went for. It does look like he went for the second gun upgrade. There we go, the accelerator. Not going to uh, go for an upgrade himself now. But Chosen deciding that this is far too many units for rock to need right now. He's going to come in and help him out. Thinning them out slightly. Take a look at what rock went for. Personal stealth. Yeah. Bit of an air engagement at the same time. This is a particularly annoying map to face off against an Aeon player. Freedom of movement with those Auroras. Oh, losing yet more Mexes, but his eco has recovered a little bit. To 13 now. Going for another upgrade. Chosen are beginning to press over in the east. Rock establishing his rocket bots over there to try and curb his opponent's progress, but also streaming through across the causeway there, and then probably looking like he's going to head south. In fact, going straight for that southwestern corner. Chosen moving over that way as well with a few auroras and also one obsidian. Splits up his forces and uh, looks to make a play for the front of Chosen's base. Taking out a radar on the way as well. There is an Obsidian and Aurora waiting for him, however. Down goes the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, this has got to be major issues for Rock. He's lost his Hydrocarbon. Hasn't quite stalled him on power. far off. It does look like that air factory is about to go. It's only T1. Well, hasn't made any investment really in the air game. He won't be crying buckets over that. We can stem the tide of this little T1 push up here though and try and surround Chosen's ACU is incredibly far forward. He needs to be careful though. It's going to be a lot of damage and range coming out from that Aeon ACU. There goes that T1 land factory a little bit further back. That takes Rock down to just three factories total. Chosen backing away wisely, not wanting to get caught up by all of these cyber new units. He'll probably be well aware that these Mantis have been making their way over there. This is Intel like it's not amazing, but he does have the odd interceptor circling overhead. Rock throw another upgrade on his commander. He did indeed. It's the microwave accelerator, so a little bit of extra damage coming off his comm now. He needs to be really very careful. 7,200 hit points on Chosen, 5,600 conversely on Rock does have a lot of support in the area so Chosen's going to back up out of that one for the moment Getting up to the 18 minute mark in this one, 25 mass to 23 in favour of Chosen Chosen's bank 3200 mass and reclaim, Rock doing considerably better at 7200 of course he has been the one under fire 
couple of obsidians camped out there on that little ridge. They get mobbed by the returning mantis. See just how well they stand up though. Chunky little beasts. Unfortunately straying into the range of the Cerberus turrets though. Going to help them on their way. Once again all was quiet. Chosen edging ahead still though in the mass game. 35 to 27. Once again, it's Western Plateau with these two mexes looking like it's going to change hands. About the second or third time, our engineers immediately in the vicinity for Chosen to come and pick up those mexes. We're seeing some even songs on the field. The Aeon mobile missile launchers in play. Yet more ranged pain for Rock. Correct me if I'm wrong, subcommas, but regular Canis River, the river is not as deep as Canis 4v4. It is hard. To submerge your com, I'm not sure if it can even be done. Playing enough of this game myself. You ladder bunnies will be able to uh, fill in the details below. Oh God, I'm talking garbage about that one. Rock having a little probe over in the east catches another two obsidians, but needs to get his mantis involved. They're all caught up around the edge of the ridge. Well, that damage is being wasted as those tanks just flap away at siege bots as often as their ROF will allow. Oh, don't switch targets without killing it off. There we go. One obsidian down. Rock actually taking his ACU into the fight there. Chosen taking some long range rocket bot fire, took a pelting there on his way past, just shed about 2000 HP. Nice little duke there, avoids another volley. But once again, things all squared pretty much in the eco games. Very to and fro this one. 21 minutes gone so far. Rock's re-established his presence in the air game. Still very light on the ground though in terms of factories. This has been such a mobile game so far. There's been very little cohesive fronts built up over the course of this and I guess it's probably because it is a Canis and there is an Aeon player so Chosen's going to be trying to lead Rock around the garden as best he can maybe take advantage of that extra mobility he's got now we're starting to see some blazes on the field as well Rock actually ahead, 37 to 33 mass so far. The question is, what can he do with it? TCU looking remarkably more healthy than he did just a minute ago. 42 kills to his name. That's good enough with the stuff that he's been killing for. Two stars on that commander. Chosen floods back across his own causeway, looking for a run by, I think. Current waypoint set to the eastern plateau. Rock's going to shadow with his ACU and all of his ground forces. Not a lot of units on the field in general for these two guys. Chosen hasn't got much left 
to counter attack over on the left hand side he's just got this one obsidian and spirit my hell he'd love to have a couple of blazes to send it in around the back but that is not to be at the moment chosen now with his own personal asylum <laughs> sounds a bit wrong a very sane Finn, believe me. Aurora is getting into the northeastern corner once again, though. For Chosen, one mech's down, another one under pressure. Rock coming in to try and defend, but it's going to be too late. Chosen frustrated by Rock's tenacity. Rock needs to be a little bit careful here. He's got himself very isolated indeed. Chosen with a large group of mixed T1, T2, and shield coverage. And his comm now bearing down on Rock's commander. And Rock might have just made a clinical error. And I think Chosen's timing on his comment there was very well placed indeed. Rock coming in with his own hoplites behind. Will he be able to thin out these units quickly enough? Many more Auroras coming in from the south, however. Rock down to 4,000 hit points and plummeting. Well into the red, he's backing up. The Asylum's gone down. There is a Cerberus turret providing some long-range cover from further back. He doesn't want to get caught up on his own units, though, as he drops down to the low hundreds, 200, 100, and boom, baby. There he goes on the button of 25 minutes. Uh, I've got to say, Rock was slightly unlucky there. That's the kind of mistake I'd make, actually, all the time. You have your ACU out trying to make something happen, and you bite off more than you can chew but he so nearly got out of there and backed up to safer climbs just uh, a few more another couple of hundred hit points I think he might have made it out and Chosen wouldn't have been able to pursue without realistically risking his own death but anyway I hope you enjoyed that guys as always more to come from me in the future in the meantime stay well and stay safe this is Guile signing out